up guys Lord Respawn here welcome to the video so in this video we are covering the market in the town of Stow on side um, and it's a it's a pretty interesting place so this is the town um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been here but as you can see I went from the left to the left from the Pokemon Center and it is going to lead me to these guys right here now what they are going to do is the guy on the left is going to buy stuff each day he's going to buy one item for a ridiculous price so today he is buying um, a pearl for three thousand let's just say dollars uh, for three thousand dollars okay so each each day he's gonna buy a certain item for a an upcharge of what you can sell it at the Pokemon Mart so what you want to do is for these items you want to sell it to him what are the items that you want to sell well I got you covered so these items right here you want to sell to this guy in stow on side so tiny mushroom 2000 pearl 3000 stardust four a big mushroom 10,000 all the way down obviously the bottom three is what you're going to want to shoot for uh bomb mushroom 25k uh pearl string 27.5 and the comment shard is going to be thirty thousand dollars so that is just an incredible amount of money that you can make from this guy now all of these items can be found throughout uh the wild area and they do respawn over time not sure what the the respawn time is and how long it takes but all of these items do respawn over time and you can get them and then uh, just kind of wait for the day uh, that he is buying each of these items and then you can offload them and make a little bit of money now let's get rid of that and the next guy so this guy is going to sell things now he's gonna sell things from common to all the way up to uh, rare and then also uh, almost never quote items now what he's gonna do is he's gonna have today's bargain yesterday's bargain and next bargain so today's bargain is always gonna be three thousand dollars so you can make your decision on that yesterday's bargain is going to be an upcharge of two thousand more so you're gonna have you have to spend five thousand to get this item so yesterday's was a pixie plate five thousand if I would have bought it yesterday it would have been three thousand then you can also do the next bargain so tomorrow you're going to see that he is going to have miracle seeds so you can kind of plan out what you want what you need and that will help out with uh purchasing these items because they are uh, a little bit more expensive now what are the items to look for so these are the items that you want to look for so the top i'm not going to go through them all um the top are going to be rare items now he does have some frequent and common um, an average difficulty but these are the ones that you really want to look out for um, because they don't appear as often and if you want to screenshot this video or do whatever you need to do uh, but the almost never is what you really really want and that's going to be the black belt black glasses excuse me magnet never melt ice pixie plate sharp beak silk scarf and silver powder so if you see any of these items now he did say that he had uh, pixie plate so I'm going to actually buy that in a second but if they have any of these items you're going to want to buy them because you don't know when they're going to appear next so again screenshot this and I'm gonna hide it and we're gonna go to yesterday's bargain pixie plate yes and we are going to grab that now you can only buy I believe you can only buy one at a time uh, so boost the power of fairy type moves uh, yeah so you can only buy one at a time so today's bargain uh, ring target that is on the list as well it is going to be a rare uh, item so I'm gonna buy that one as well uh, so make sure you go through buy everything that you need um, very helpful in the future as you saw that that one item boosts uh, fairy type so if you're a fairy type uh, trainer then that really helps you out so guys hopefully this video helped you out I know it's kind of confusing um, you know wondering what the deals are gonna be what you should what you should sell what you should look for in the wild area so hopefully this video helped you out give a good overview of you know what is included um in these deals and in kind of what each of these npcs do so if you enjoyed the video drop a like make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next pokemon sword and shield video later